Six men died Saturday inside two planes, one a B-17G, the other a P-63F. By all accounts, these vintage, historic, World War II era planes, they meant the world to these guys. So I set out to learn about them, and I didn't have to look very far. I'm Craig Hutane. First, the P-63F. Victim Craig Hutane gushed about the plane and its rarity at an air show in Oshkosh in July. I'm standing in front of right now, it's a P-63F, very unique airplane. It's actually one of one P-63F. It's a neat airplane to take to a show because a lot of people have never seen one before. And my number one comment that I ever get is, I've never seen one of these before. This is really dynamite. Next, the B-17. Victim Kevin Mickles, better known as K-5, beamed in June as he told reporters in Bowling Green about the plane's storied past. There were 12,731 of these built during World War II. Today, there are just five that still fly in the world. An iconic bomber plane, K-5 said he flew the B-17 to honor all the World War II airmen who never made it home. They never got a chance to grow old. They never got a chance to have families. By the way, victim and veteran Dan Reagan flew the same B-17 he served in all those years ago. That was our mission. Priceless as they were, these planes weren't nearly as precious as the men who made them fly. Though they are gone, their legacy clearly lasts. These guys like me are, you know, 10 years from now, I won't be flying this airplane. Somebody else is going to have to be flying it. And then, so that, that person's out there. In Dallas, I'm Sydney Persing.